Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and so for today's video I have such an exciting video. So on Friday I picked up the brand new Huda Beauty palette. This is her new nude palette and guys this palette is so so stunning. Let me just show you guys the inside of this palette right now. Like what? This palette is just, it's just stunning. I have not seen a more beautiful palette than this one. Like this is by far my favorite palette I've ever used in my entire life and also just like the color scheme the color story to this palette is just stunning so I did go ahead and do a like a mini review on this palette and I showed you guys how I created this really pretty like pink soft glam makeup look and I absolutely love the way it turned out so if you guys want to see kind of like my thoughts and opinions on this palette and if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look then make sure to go ahead and keep on watching so I'm going to go ahead and pick up this first shade in the palette which is just a white matte shade and this is called bare and so I'm just going to go ahead and set my concealer so I'm just going to go ahead and start off with this shade right here which is called secret and it is just a light matte pink shade and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in the crease. I really like that shade. You do have a little bit of kick up in the palette if you can see right here. Something that I don't really mind, but so far I really like the pigmentation. This is a pretty light shade to begin with. I definitely want to take my time blending these shades. So now that my crease shade is all blended out nicely, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this shade right here, which is called Tickle. And I'm just going to apply that into the crease as well, just to kind of like darken up the crease shade a little bit more. And this is a little bit more of like a vibrant pink versus this one that we used. So that will add just a little bit more of like pink into the look. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this because I don't want my eyeshadow to be like too crazy pink if that makes any sense. I'm just going to slightly dust this into the crease. So I'm really liking the way that this looks. I think the pigmentation looks really well. I think those two colors blended in together really nicely. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick up this shade right here, which is called Tease. I'm going to go ahead and apply that into my outer V and just making sure to blend everything together because I do not want any harsh lines. So I just packed it onto my brush and I'm just going to kind of stamp it on my outer V right here in my outer corner. And then once it's kind of stamped down, then I'm going to go ahead and blend it with no additional product added on. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that same thing on the other eye. I'm just going to tap my brush just a little bit and then tap off the excess and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp this right on the outer V of my eye and once I feel like a lot of the color has come off my brush that's when I go ahead and just blend it up into my crease. So I'm really liking that. So now I'm going to go back in to Secret, which is this one right here, which is the first crease shade that we used, and then just kind of reapply that into my crease to make sure that everything is just kind of blended together nicely. I definitely am taking my time with this look, and these shadows are performing really well. So next I'm going to just pick up a flat little like concealer brush. Basically this one is really tiny which is great because you can really get in the crease of your eye. And then I am so happy that Huda Beauty did, it, did this. At first I was a little like why did she decide to do this but I think it is so innovative and I think it is so amazing that she did this. So basically this shade right here which is called Concealed. This is a legit like concealer consistency shade and so that way like when you're doing your eye makeup and you want to cut out your crease you don't have to go and get another concealer or whatever like you already have it in this palette which I think is such an innovative thing and I think so many other palettes should do that. Um, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this shade and I'm just going to kind of apply it like in the middle and kind of where I didn't apply any shadow that way when I do go ahead and use my glitter it's just going to really stick to that base. So I did not purchase any of her new 
eyeshadow brushes that came with this collection so I am just gonna go ahead and use my finger I think using your finger works the best with this formula so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is called daydream which I think is such a stunning shade I'm just gonna go ahead and take some on my ring finger that is stunning and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that where we put that concealed oh that is stunning. I don't know how well you guys can see this on camera, but I, I'm, I'm blown away. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Fantasy, and I'm just going to kind of apply that on top of the glitter that I already have down, just because this looks really pretty. Okay, so now that we have the shimmer shades pressed down, I'm going to go back in with tees, which is what we put on the outer corner, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing. I'm just going to pick a little bit of this up with my brush, tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to kind of reapply it on my outer V just to make sure that the glitter that we put on is blended in so there's like no harsh lines. And then I'm going to go back in with Secret, which was the first crease shade that we used. I'm just going to go ahead and reapply that into the crease just to make sure that everything is blended together. So I'm going to take again that crease shade, the first crease shade that we used, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the lower lash line, and then I'm going to make sure to connect it to the top part of my eyeshadow. I don't want to do anything too smoky, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave my lower lashes like that. And then the last shadow that I'm going to go ahead and use in this palette is I'm going to pick up this shade right here, which is called Crave. And I'm just going to pick that up on my pinky and then just kind of stamp it on my inner corners just to kind of brighten them up. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that. Do you guys see that? I really hope my camera is picking this up because this is just such a stunning palette like I can't get over so that is the eyeshadow I am so obsessed with this makeup look so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and then I'm going to put on my lip product and then I will be back to you guys to kind of finish off the video and kind of give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on this palette this is the completed makeup look and I am honestly so so happy with the way it turned out I think it's just so pretty it's such a girly fun like little soft glam makeup look and I'm just really I'm really digging it I did use seven shades in this palette and each shade was just so stunning I didn't have any problems with blending anything I didn't have any fallout which was really nice I just think overall this palette is stunning it is $65 so it does have a little bit more of a higher price point but I do think it's worth it the packaging is really sturdy, it's really nice. You do get such a big mirror, which again, is really nice, and you do have all of these shades. Overall, like I said, I'm very happy with the way my eyes look. I definitely really want to play around with some of the other shades. I want to do like winged liner with a shadow similar to kind of like this little picture that you get in the booklet. She definitely kind of did like a smoked out eyeshadow liner, and I think that look is so stunning. So I definitely want to try something like that in a future video or something like that or just like in a future makeup look with this palette but yeah so that completes this video so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to subscribe on my channel i do post videos every monday wednesday and friday for you guys and make sure to follow me on all my social medias i'll make sure to leave those in the description box down below and yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye